Hello, and welcome to AIM's Introduction to Microsoft Project 2003. This is the third video in the series, and will demonstrate how to create a network structure and enter it in Microsoft Project 2003. A network structure describes the timing order relationship between tasks. In other words, what tasks do I start with, and what needs to be done before I can start each task? Microsoft Project does not have a tool to help create a network structure. I used the yellow post-it note approach and have found it to be simple and effective. To use the yellow post-it note approach, start by writing each task on a yellow post-it. You don't need to include the category heading tasks. Arrange them in a random order on a large table. You could use a conference room table for this. Take the last task to finish and place it at your far right. Then work backwards from the end of the project to the front of the project, arranging the yellow post from right to left. When you're finished this, walk the project through from the starting task all the way through to the end. This will confirm that you have things in the right order. When you've completed this, you'll have the information necessary to enter your network structure in Microsoft Project 2003. In the previous session, we entered and organized the tasks necessary to create a new cellular phone. We will now take these tasks and try to inscribe them onto yellow post-it notes. I've gone ahead and written all the task names down on yellow post-its and arranged them on the screen. The screen is analogous to your table that you would be using. Now once again, we want to start with the oldest uh, task, the last task to complete, and then uh, work our way forward to the first. The last thing we're going to do in this project is present the prototype. So I'll drag the po yellow post-it present prototype and place it at the far right of the screen. Now before we can present the prototype, we need to have tested the prototype. So I'll take test prototype and drag it, position it like this. Before we can test the prototype, we need to integrate the hardware and software. Now using the hardware and software, uh, using the hardware side of the hardware and software, before we can integrate hardware and software, we must have assembled the, so the hardware. Before we could assemble the hardware, we had to procure it. Moving back to the software side of this, uh, we will have had to have done the programming. Now, in this case, I, I know that programming module A, programming module B, and programming module C can all happen at the same time. They're uh, concurrent activity. Now, before we could program these modules, we needed to finish our design work. Uh, once again, I know that the design for the network interface and the design for the user interface can both happen at the same time. So I'll position the yellow post-its like that. Now, before we could either procure the hardware or start the network design, we had to have our design specifications authored. So I'll put that there. Before we could design the uh, author the design specifications, we had to have analyzed the results. And before we could analyze the results, we will have had to have interview the target audience. Now as you can see we have what shapes up to be a network diagram and we can test this network diagram by moving ourselves now from front the beginning of the project to the end and confirm that we have things in the right order. So the first thing we're going to do is interview the target audience and once we've done that we can analyze the results. Once the results are, are analyzed we can author the design specifications. Then two things can happen. We can start to procure the hardware and do the network design and user interface. Now, once we've procured the hardware, we can assemble it. Once we've done the network interface and user interface, we can do the programming of module A, B, and C. Once the hardware is assembled and the programming is done, we can integrate the hardware and software, we can test the prototype, and we can present it. Once you put the tasks in order, it's a good practice to connect them using simple connectors. This makes the timing relationship much more obvious and presentable, and it will be easier for you to enter them in Microsoft Project 2003. With a copy of the network structure close by for reference, I'll begin to enter the information contained in the network structure in the predecessor column in Microsoft Project. Now notice that interview target audience is our first task. This task does not have any predecessors. However, if we move to the next task and analyze results, it's fairly obvious that we need to have interviewed the target audience before we can analyze the results. Now, the way to enter the information from the network structure is to put the task ID for the task that comes before the one you're working on in the predecessor column. So I'll just go ahead and do that, and I'll put a 3 in the predecessor column. Now, what you'll notice right away on the timeline view 
is that it's uh, moved the start of the author design specifications out and made a connector. Now the dates here are still not correct. We haven't got to that uh, session yet. But the relationship is being established between the task number three and task number four. And we'll continue down through the rest of the tasks. Uh, in order to author design specifications, we will have had to have analyzed the results. In order to have created the design interface, we know that we have to have authored the design specifications. Same with network interface. Now before we could can do the programming for module A, B, and C, we need to have both completed the user interface design and the network interface design. And you can put two tasks, or as many tasks as you need, as predecessors in each of these in the predecessor column. In this case, both 7 and 8 need to be completed before I can start these tasks. Now, before we can procure the hardware, we need to have authored the design specifications, so I'll put a 5 in that column. Before we can assemble the hardware, I need to have procured it. 13. Before I can integrate the hardware and software, I need to have assembled the hardware. 14. And I need to have completed the programming of module A, B, and C. And that's 9, 10, and 11. Before I can test the prototype, I need to have integrated the hardware and software. And before I can present the prototype, I need to have tested it. And by entering these predecessors, we've created the relationships between the tasks, entered the network structure into the uh, project plan and are well on our way to having a full work breakdown structure. This ends the introduction to Microsoft Project 2003, creating and entering a network structure. The next session will involve duration and milestones.